So guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. So guys, you've probably heard um, Tom Saunders' interview and obviously I was on my live stream. So all of you that have joined my live stream probably saw uh, my opinion on it, but I wanted to do a video. Uh, very disappointing apparently that there is rumors that the fight is off and Billy Joe Saunders and Canelo Alvarez um, may not be happening because of the ring size. Um, as fight fans, that would be very, very disappointing that if this fight was to pull through because of the because of the ring size. I, I hope not. I hope not as a, as a hardcore fan, as a guy that's been looking forward to this fight for a couple of months now. It would be a kick in the teeth if this fight doesn't go through. It would be. It'd be I'd be devastated. I'd be gutted. As a fight fan, I'd be gutted if this fight doesn't go through. Um, it'd be it'd be a damn shame. It would be honestly. It would be a damn shame if this fight doesn't happen. Uh, I hope it does. I hope it does because, like I said, I really want to. I really want to see this fight. And I don't care who budges and who, because I know there's going to be Saunders fan coming in onto the comment section giving their opinion. There's going to be Canelo fans. I just want to see this fight. You know, uh, Canelo wants to become undisputed champion. He can't do that without fighting Saunders. Um, Saunders wants to prove that he's a world-class, elite-level fighter. He can't do that without beating Canelo. Uh, he won't be considered the top 168 unless he beats Canelo because everybody believes Canelo's the best 168. I don't know how they're going to resolve this issue. I don't know who's going to budge. Uh, but what I am hoping that they do budge. I, I hope one of them decide. I hope one of them decide to, you know, budge and we get this fight because I really want to see this fight. I really, I can't stress enough that I've been waiting for this fight for a very, very long time. Like, I've been waiting for Billy Joes to step up and fight that top guy. And now we finally got there. We're hearing all these excuses. And I said in my live stream that who knows how people will react. Who knows how the British fans will react if Billy Joe does pull out and comes back. I don't know how they'll respond to his... I think he'll have his hardcore fans that will watch him regardless. But a lot of the a lot of the fans that are not fans of him, so to speak, but fans of boxing, right? I don't know how they'd react to him moving forward because to drop out because of ringside. I get it. Listen, I get it. If it's in the contract, then it should be adhered to. But if it's not in the contract, and Canelo, as the A side, is saying it should be a twenty foot ring. Unfortunately, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Like I've said it before, that I think Mayweather, when Mayweather fought at De La Hoya, he was the B-side. He, he couldn't even wear his own gloves. He couldn't wear his own gloves. You go in there, you beat the A-side, and then you become the A-side. That's how boxing's worked. And Canelo is a massive A-side in this fight. I know people keep going on about that he's a champion. Billy's a champion. Yeah, we get that. It doesn't make difference. Canelo Alvarez is the biggest star in the sport. You holding a belt. When Parker came here and over and fought AJ, do you think he was given a 50-50 split? Do you think he was given uh, what he wanted, what gloves he can wear? what rate? Like it, That wasn't up to Parker, you know? Um, and uh, unfortunately, when you're the B-side, these are things you have to suck up. Especially if it's in the contract. If it's written in the contract that, you know, it was a 24-foot ring, then yeah, I'm with Saunders. But I don't think that stuff's going to be in the contract, personally. If I'm honest with you, I don't think they really paid... They may have not paid that much in, in at the time. They were just probably more interested in about the split and about getting the fight done. But all of these things probably should have been spoken about. Then maybe they have. We don't know. We're just speculating. We don't know what's in that contract. That's why I don't want to say much because I don't know. I don't know. But I just want to see this fight. I want to see this fight. As a hardcore, as a hardcore boxing fan, I want to see this fight. And let's be honest, we'll all be gutted. We'll all be sick to our stomach if this fight doesn't happen over ring size. No matter who you want to blame, over ring size. We'll, as boxing fans, there'll be another occasion where we've been, where we as boxing fans have been ripped off, you know, robbed of a, of a brilliant fight. And I hope it doesn't happen. I hope it doesn't happen because it's a great fight and it's a fight that we all want to see. Let's be honest, it's a fight we all want to see. It's a fight we all want to see. Um, and when um, Tom Saunders, Billy Joe Saunders' dad came out with that, uh, came and said that in the interview, I was like, oh no, here we go again. Let's just hope, let's just hope um, that they come to a resolution and they can, they can get, they can sort things out. Um, because to be honest with you, I've been looking forward to this fight for so long. 
it would be it would be de definitely be demoralizing if it doesn't happen. Uh, after all that build up, after all that talk, after all that hype, if we don't get this fight, you know. I don't know what Bill, I don't know where Billy Joe goes. I don't know where Billy Joe goes. Where does he who does he fight? Is he gonna fight someone like Charlo Jacobs, someone like that for a quarter of the money probably, in a much in 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 a fight that would be really hard, a Charlo for a probably quarter of the money in a really hard fight, an Andrade in a really hard like, uh, it's just the best opportunity out there. You know he's fighting the best pound for pound fighter in the world. He's getting a lot of money to fight Canelo. Do you really want to give that up for two feet? I know, I know it may sound that, well, why don't Canelo budge two feet? Because if Canelo's opting 20 feet and 22 feet, but Canelo doesn't really need Billy Joe Saunders. Canelo doesn't really need Billy Joe Saunders. Let's be, let's be honest, Canelo's the biggest star in boxing. He could fight anyone. Like, in his last fight, he fought Yildirim and did a huge gate. You know, he fought Liam Smith in front of 50, 60,000 people. He doesn't need Billy Joe. Whereas Billy Joe needs this opportunity to show the world how good he is because everybody at the minute, we don't know how big, good Billy Joe is. Billy Joe isn't seen like Canelo's seen in boxing. So this is an opportunity for him to prove himself against the pound for pound best. And I get it needs to be fair and they want, they want you know, the ring size and all of that to be sorted. I get all of that. I get all of that, but only they know what's in the contract. Because if it's not contractually agreed, you know, then and Canelo and, and the standard size is 16 to 20 foot ring, then do, does he really have a leg to stand on? I, I don't know. I don't know. Because like I said, look at these examples in the past, like Floyd Mayweather and Maidana, for example. Maidana couldn't wear his gloves. Floyd Mayweather and Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar De La Hoya couldn't, um, Mayweather couldn't wear his own gloves. Because Delahoy was the A side and Mayweather beat him and then became and never was the B side ever again. So at the end at the end of the day, like if it's not contractually agreed, right, which it all comes down to, then really you're kind of trying to force your way uh, or or get a ring size which hasn't been agreed to against the biggest star in the sport when he doesn't want you to, he wants to have the advantage, not, not, not give you the advantage. A 24 foot ring for a super middleweight fight is fairly big. And correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's kind of unheard of. It's quite a big ring for a, um, for a super middleweight fight. Now, I think they probably started off high because they knew they weren't going to get a 24 foot ring. And Canelo initially started off 18 and they're saying we're not budging from 22. I don't know whether they'll budge from that. And eventually if it comes, uh, if it comes to it being 20 or nothing, right? I don't know whether, they'd, I don't know whether they'll just say, you know what, we'll take the 20. I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. But it's, it's bizarre that we're even discussing or, or even having a debate or talking about this issue because... <laughs> I don't know if I've ever, uh, I've ever heard of a ring size issue stopping the fight from happening. I don't know. Maybe you guys might know something. Uh, has there ever been a, a case where a ring size, the ring size has stopped the fight or a fighter's not happy with the ring? I've never heard any fighter. I've, I've heard Fury talk about the canvas that was spongy and uh, I don't think he was worried about the ring size. But this is probably the first. Um, they, these tricks have been played in the past, don't get me wrong, but I don't, I've not heard anyone willing to, looking to pull out. I don't, again, listen, man, I, it is what it is. We don't know what's agreed, and I understand Billy Joe wants a bigger ring because he wants to box and move. To be honest, I don't know. I don't know. It's a tricky one because when you're, when you're the pound-for-pound pound best uh, and you feel like you've earned the right to call the shots and you, you, know, you, you probably feel that, you know, you... You you want to call the shots. You're the you're the guy in power. You want to call the shots. So Billy Joe may feel no. He wants a even playing field. He's agreed twenty two. We don't. We just don't know. We don't know what's been agreed. We don't. We don't know. We don't know the ins and outs. So for us to we're just speculating. But I hope honestly, I hope this fight doesn't get stopped or this fight gets scrapped because of a ring size. Oh, that would be so gutting. And I'm pretty sure Eddie Hearn would be do, doing all he can, all he can. 
to stop this um, from from uh, stop trying to stop this not happening. He wants this fight to happen. Eddie Hearn wants this fight to happen badly. Um, so I'm pretty sure he's doing all he, all he can. And I feel for him. Eddie Hearn must be in a difficult place right now. A difficult place. Right? A difficult place. And Eddie Hearn's the type of guy, I remember him speaking to his dad, where he doesn't want this kind of stress. I remember him, him saying about Eubank and him saying that, you know, his dad saying, tell him to go. He doesn't need this kind of stress. And I'm pretty sure right now, and listen, Eddie Hearn probably de deals with this, type, not this type of stuff, but deals with stuff like this on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, fighters saying this and that, you know, Eddie Hearn's come across this before. But again, I don't think Eddie Hearn wants this fight to fall through. He wants this fight badly. Um, and I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of speechless because I want this fight and it will be a damn shame if this fight was to fall through and right now I, I if you were to ask me does it happen I'd say yes I just don't think this fight I don't think Saunders is going to give up this opportunity I think he wants to he wants to prove to everybody that you know he's been saying for years that he can beat Canelo surely he's not going to let this opportunity go even if it means he has to fight in a 20 foot ring surely he's not gonna surely he's not gonna um give up this opportunity but then who knows he is quite principled you know Billy Joe Saunders is quite a principled guy where he you know it'd be like no I want to fight in a 22 foot ring it's not fair we just don't know but hopefully 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 this fight gets over the line we get to see it as fans we'd be gutted and disappointed waiting a couple of months We're, Billy Joe's been talking about this for years this fight it's a couple of days away it's a couple of days away and we've now got an issue about the ring. Hopefully they can solve it and hopefully we get this fight. I really want to see this fight. Um, and I know I sound a bit like a fanboy right now, but I really want to see this fight. And it'd be gutting if it does fall through. Uh, but what do you guys make of it? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, do you think this fight will happen? Uh, do you think it will fall through? Uh, everyone's saying it's off. Apparently there was meant to be a press conference. Billy Joe didn't turn up. What do you think's going on? Do you think there's, it's being sorted out by MTK? Let's see, man. Let's see. Let's hope it, it goes through. Leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.